Hey, it's Mike again, product manager for ExpressPCB. Today we're going to be talking about Netlist Validation in ExpressPCB Plus 3.2. This tool can be found in the file menu under Validate Netlist or also on the left hand toolbar under the same Validate Netlist. Clicking on that will work in conjunction with our schematic link. So you will need to have a full schematic that would match up with the design you're currently in the process of laying out. Simply select the schematic that you'd like, click on open and it will show you that the schematic was linked successfully. Click on OK to then begin the validation process with our netlists and that will generate a netlist from both the schematic and the layout and compare the two to see what differences might exist. In looking at our schematic, you can see that I do not have a component shown here as my extra U1 uh, and that creates the extra component report which you'll see highlight in the design as soon as you click on that. You do have the option to zoom to error as well. So if you do have a variety of errors or a larger design, more complex design, you can simply use the zoom to error so that you're not necessarily hunting for the highlight. You can simply go right to the error that you're looking for. So in addition to the extra component here, it also shows that I have a short or an extra connection, which is our trace that's routed to pin five on the my 10 pin component. And we also have some additional errors that we can report on as well. So if we go back to our design and we you all say we wanted to create an open as well as a short we have we can simply remove a trace come back and validate our edits and then we'll see a few of the additional things that are reported under our error categories we now show a missing connection which is the open between jp1 then from u1 or j2 sorry we'll then see the missing connection from jp1 to j2 which is shown here with the highlighted pads Again, because the connection was removed, it doesn't show the missing connection per se. It simply shows the two endpoints that are not routed. So this would be the same in any occurrence, whether it's partially or not routed at all. In addition to that, we do have an extra element that does come up as well, and that's the via pad that would be shown for that missing connection too. And this is simply because you have a pin in a component that is routed with a trace and it just goes to something that is not completed in routing. So because the via is unnecessary, it deems it as an extra element. So you can choose to just remove those types of connections if you have those in your designs and they're not necessary in this particular case we can go back we can replace that element with our simple control z for an undo easy peasy and then a validate edit again and you'll see that those get removed we wanted to take it one step further and remove a short we're then left with the my extra component do the validate edit again and instead of seeing the extra connection we now have extra elements because of those traces that now exist so anything that is unrouted from a pin on a component will show as an extra element uh, there's no markings that are associated with that or properties which is why you don't see any indicated name associated with those in the extra elements reporting and when you look at the extra component that still shows highlighted as well as the connections we could simply remove those by selecting and removing we'll run through our validate edits again and it'll show that all errors have been resolved so everything matches up everything in our design matches and then you'd be good to go to place your order a simple file save to save any of the changes that you had made in validating those edits and then ordering your boards like usual and then you're ready to have a design that matches your initial schematic hope this helps you understand a little bit about our validate netless tool and how that can help you make sure that your design matches your original plan and your schematic have a great day Thank you for taking a few minutes to join us today. If you enjoyed today's video, please be sure to like and subscribe for future content. You can also comment below if you have any questions you'd like to have us answer or if you have a topic you'd like to have us cover in the future. Most of our content comes from you, our customers, through comments and requests. Thanks again.